What are the downsides of the OnlyFans business? The biggest downsides are... The biggest downsides are also like the biggest upside. So the upside is like working with the girls and how easy that is to sell as a product. But the biggest downside is the management of the girls, particularly if you're managing girls who are working remotely. A lot of it is like managing expectations. So we have a general earnings expectations with all of our girls if they follow our process which would be like in the first month they would earn i don't know three to five k it's, it's not going to be huge money but in the second month we would be expecting around the 10k mark in the third month about 20k even up to 25 in some cases in the fourth month up to 40k and by like month six we're looking at bringing in 50 to 60k per month and that is quite like realistic earning earnings potentials as long as the model is able to consistently provide you with content. Really, it's not about, like we have like our OnlyFans group as part of the course, like a mastermind group, I guess it is. And a lot of guys will post in their models that they have found asking if she is good enough quality. Maybe perhaps they're not sure if she's good looking enough or if she fits the, yeah, if she'll be successful on OnlyFans. And really it doesn't actually come down to, like I put looks Second, like you, you don't want to be managing like a 10 out of 10 supermodel who's unresponsive and doesn't provide you with any content and isn't fast to provide you with custom videos and, and content that you need and so on. You will make much more money with a much more like regular looking girl that we can say again, I, like it's not about having a supermodel. It's much more about what is the work ethic and the attitude of, of the girl that you're working with. Are they committed to creating the promotional content that you need? How responsive are they to like the custom video requests? How much content are they actually able to, to create for you? If a model comes on with, if she has an Instagram with a few hundred thousand followers, then okay, that does change things slightly. But if we're talking about generally what we offer to all of our OnlyFans girls, which is a level of anonymity, we will create only Instagram accounts for them from scratch. We'll create all of their social media from scratch, which is what we offer as a, as an agency. If a supermodel is starting from zero of us, and then we have a regular looking girl who is also starting from zero Instagram followers, the person who will make the more money, the model who will make the more money is going to be the one who is most committed to creating the content that we need. It's, it's not going to be down to the looks at all. It's literally going to be down to, to how committed they are to the opportunity. So the biggest part of the job is actually the motivational aspect, kind of keeping the models committed because I just explained our numbers in month one, we're not going to be turning over like crazy money. And often in often cases, like the model is expecting that they can do a, like minimal amount of work and they're going to pull in 10 20 30k per month and it's not the case at all only fans has huge earning, earnings potentials but it's not just going to come on your lap perhaps like a, a few years ago when there was like far less competition but now it's really like a hyper competitive marketplace and if you go on like reddit for example on the adult subreddits it's just literally tons of only fans content creators fighting fighting for a position like fighting for attention and you're going to be a part of that market which is why generally i don't focus on reddit as like an acquisition channel we try and find more creative like uh, early stage early stage platforms where all of the only fans creators haven't quite jumped over there it's like a key key focus for me anyway but yeah like a big part is the like emotional management we can say of keeping the model motivated particularly for the first like 60 days once we're past that point and we've built up the initial momentum, that is when we would really start to see results. But they are like the critical, that is like the critical period in, in, in getting a model on board. So the biggest and most time consuming and hardest factor in the OnlyFans business is managing the girls directly. It really is keeping them committed to the opportunity and keeping them motivated, like keeping them consistently generating content. We need multiple pieces of content every day. After about 90 days, we have like a, a media vault within OnlyFans. So we actually don't need much custom content from them at all, but we would still need content on the promotional side of things because OnlyFans also see such a high churn rate as much as it is a subscription business. Generally, because these guys are making, making an emotional purchase, we can say once they have finished satisfying themselves, they will often go ahead straight away and cancel the subscription. And of course there are like things that you can put in place to reduce the cancellation rate, but regardless, it is, it's an extremely high cancellation rate. If we look at some other like recurring income businesses, like it's generally 30 to 40% on 
are on OnlyFans, which would be considered an extremely high churn rate in any other subscription based business, which is why there's always a lot of emphasis on constantly bringing in new customers.